Hey, I'm Steven and this is Solving the Money Problem. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Tesla's mission is to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. This isn't a BS corporate slogan. It's literally why Tesla exists. Starting a new car company is almost an impossible task. Just ask everyone who tried and went bankrupt over the last century. And starting an electric vehicle company? Absolutely insane. But Tesla not only tried, they've succeeded. They're now producing over a billion dollars of free cash flow every year, selling nothing but electric vehicles, solar and battery storage. In their own words, we believe the notion that a sustainable future is not economically feasible is no longer valid. This is a warning shot whose scope and scale reaches far and wide. Tesla has in its crosshairs trillions of dollars of industry, big oil, legacy auto, utilities and more. This week, Tesla released their 2019 impact report, sharing everything that matters about their effect on the environment, from factory operations through to lifetime use of its products. And while I'll touch on the environmental stuff, in this video, I'm putting on my investor hat and following the breadcrumbs to see where they lead. The 57-page report is laden with important clues about the future of Tesla, its business and its products, so this is where we'll focus. What hints can we find that might help us as investors? What can we deduce or speculate about the company's future? But before we dive in, I just want to say congratulations to all the Tesla shareholders who saw the stock pass $1,000 for the first time this week. The first thousand is always the hardest. Here's to the next. And while we're talking about stocks, and what a smooth transition, we will have an awesome offer for US residents. You can get a free stock just by opening a new account and a second free stock valued up to $1,400 by funding your account with $100 using the link below. And if you're in Australia, New Zealand, or the UK, you can get a free stock with stake also linked in the description. Let's get back to it. So let's run through some highlights from Tesla's 2019 impact report and consider what they might mean. This is an exercise in informed speculation, deduction, and well, a little bit of imagination. I'm thinking out loud, not forecasting the future. Tesla mission and ecosystem. Let's read. We are focused on creating a complete energy and transportation ecosystem from solar generation and energy storage to all electric vehicles that produce zero tailpipe emissions. Does creating a complete energy and transportation ecosystem sound like a company who plans to stop innovating, disrupting, developing new products and growing? Not to me. Let's look at the numbers. Tesla is going after electricity, heat production and transportation, which together account for 47%, half of all greenhouse gas emissions generated by the economic sector. Tesla is not playing in the sandpit. Tesla vehicles are tackling transportation. Tesla batteries, solar and auto bit of software are going after electricity. What about heat production? Glad you asked. My prediction? Tesla will make a heating, ventilation and air conditioning system in the future for use in residential and commercial buildings. After all, Elon Musk has already expressed interest in this. Let's read on. Tesla also manufactures a unique set of energy products that enable homeowners, businesses and utilities to produce and manage renewable energy generation, storage and consumption. Hmm. Homeowners, businesses and utilities. That's literally everyone. Energy generation, storage and consumption. That's literally everything. Seems to me like Tesla is going after everything and everyone. I have an idea. Let's look at the world's largest companies by revenue. Hmm, isn't that interesting? Six of the top 10 are oil and gas companies. A further two are automotive, and one is an electricity company. If you suck at math, nine of the top 10 companies on planet Earth are in the crosshairs of Tesla. Nine, not one, not two. This is Tesla's future revenue, and with Tesla's track record of incredible execution, relentless innovation, perpetual disruption, and endless optimization, I have little doubt we'll see Tesla ascend this list in the coming years. Oh yeah, number 11 is Apple. There's some overlap there, too. Robotaxi batteries. Innocently tucked away on page 8 of the report was this gem. What emissions per mile could be if the Model 3 were used for ride-sharing over 1 million miles using cell chemistry from our energy products? Wait, what? Tesla is modeling use of battery cell chemistry from storage products in their vehicles, at least those intended for use in robotaxis? Yes, this makes sense. Batteries used in stationary storage and robotaxis will do many more cycles over any given period of time than a battery of a Tesla solely for personal use. Does this mean we'll see a bifurcation of Tesla products in the future with two battery options, robotaxi and personal slash performance? Let's continue. It is also reasonable to assume that our high mileage products, such as our future Tesla robotaxis, will be designed for maximum energy efficiency as handling, acceleration and top speed become less important. That way, we will minimise costs for our consumers as well as reduce the carbon footprint per mile driven. 
Sounds pretty clear to me. Tesla will be using two separate battery cell chemistries in the future. One for stationary storage products, plus the Model 3, Y, and a future compact car. And the other chemistry will feature in their performance and high-spec vehicles. The Plaid Model S and X, Roadster, Semi, and Cybertruck. Speculation? Yes. Informed? Definitely. Reducing carbon footprint even further. Here, Tesla explains why a million mile battery matters, increasing vehicle utilization. Most vehicles get scrapped after 130 to 200,000 miles. A million mile battery would greatly reduce emissions per vehicle produced. Let's read on. A relatively small number of vehicles, such as taxis, delivery vans, trucks, or buses, account for a disproportionate amount of vehicle miles and, as a result, a disproportionate amount of emissions. We know robo-taxis are coming. So too is the Tesla Semi. I recently speculated about Tesla's secret van, which I'll link below. And as for buses, my hunch is that Tesla's high passenger density boring company pods aim to displace these over time. In short, Tesla is going after all major segments of terrestrial transport, not just luxury sedans or SUVs, all major forms. This matters. Battery recycling. While fossil fuels are extracted and used once, battery materials, in contrast, are refined and put into a cell and will still remain in the cell at the end of their life when they can be recycled to recover valuable materials for reuse over and over again. Extending the lifespan of a battery pack is a superior option to recycling both for environmental and business reasons. This is because all materials contained in a battery remain in their original format at the end of life and the vast majority of these materials are then captured in the recycling process. What's more, over half of the materials in a battery cell are metals, which are infinitely recyclable. Tesla is currently developing a unique battery recycling system at Gigafactory Nevada. This may not sound super exciting, but as an investor, this looks like a huge, huge piece of Tesla's future business. I'm talking billions of dollars. In their own words, we expect to recognize significant savings over the long term as the costs associated with large-scale battery material recovery and recycling will be far lower than purchasing and transporting new materials to put into cells. Think of it like this. Why mine shit out of the earth when it's already been conveniently mined, refined, and packaged into batteries for your recycling pleasure? Emissions credits and out execution. How's this for a flex? In 2019, we generated almost $600 million of revenue selling zero emission regulatory credits to other OEMs. All of the proceeds from such sales will be used for building new factories to produce EVs that will continue to displace other ICE vehicles. Tesla is basically being paid by other automakers to build Tesla Gigafactories. That's how far ahead they are. It's easier for Fiat Chrysler to pay Tesla a couple of billion dollars than to make enough electric vehicles to avoid massive fines. This in itself should give you pause. Do you think automakers would be paying Tesla billions of dollars if they didn't have to? Unlikely. The truth is, they're so far behind on electric vehicle technology that they have no choice. If we look closer, we'll see that in 2019, Tesla delivered more than two times as many EVs as any other automaker in the world. The world is a pretty big place and funnily enough, it includes China, the world's most mature EV market. EVs are the future and Tesla today is making twice as many as anyone else and their products are far superior. Good luck catching up. Price equivalency. Our focus from the beginning has been to develop products that are not only sustainable, but also superior to fossil fuel alternatives in every way. Tesla does what they say they will do. The jury is not out on this. Each Tesla vehicle is in a class of its own, truly peerless. Should anyone need convincing of this fact? My condolences. It's not up for debate. Car of the year? Car of the decade? Car of the century? Pick the award. Tesla has won it. They make the three safest vehicles ever tested and three of the fastest production vehicles ever built. I could go on. Every kid on the planet knows and loves Tesla and they've never spent a cent on advertising. The point is, now, not only are Tesla vehicles superior to everything else in the marketplace, they're at price parity. BMW, Mercedes and Audi are all f***ed. And Tesla isn't stopping there. Toyota, Honda, Ford, GM and Co are all next as Tesla continues to drive down prices and add value through software, innovation and optimization. Primary driver. I've been astonished at how few people take Tesla at their word and even more amazed at how many fail to put two and two together and realize for example that battery costs are predictably declining over time, meaning, you guessed it, 
Tesla products will predictably decline in cost over time too. Tesla is not a luxury brand. They're a company focused on driving down costs of their products to address an ever-growing market over time. But don't take my word for it. Making our products available to as many people as possible is key to achieving our mission. Since its founding, Tesla has been focused on increasing the utility of products, making them better and more useful to customers, while at the same time, making them increasingly more affordable. Tesla is doing exactly what they said, and you'd have to be extremely dense not to see this happening. Tesla's over-the-air software updates alone have increased range, acceleration, vastly expanded infotainment options, added security and safety features, and embarrassed literally every other automaker on earth. And I didn't even mention autopilot. The cost of Tesla's products will continue to fall indefinitely, as their value, features, and utility continue to rise. Corporate governance. This may not sound like the most exciting topic, but if you're a Tesla investor, it matters. Tesla's board are committed to the company's long-term goals. I ask you to take a moment and consider which board members of which other energy, transport, or automotive companies would have had the vision to manufacture and sell electric vehicles from the ground up rather than simply build powertrains for OEMs. Establish Tesla-owned stores and service centers rather than use the franchise dealer system. Create a global network of superchargers to enable long-distance travel. Build the world's largest battery factory to meet their needs and reduce battery costs. Expand into energy generation, solar, and storage to create a vertically integrated sustainable energy company. And compensate their CEO only if other shareholders realize tremendous value. I really want you to think about that. Every step of the way, Tesla was mocked and ridiculed by critics and skeptics over what looked like insane, risky, reckless investment decisions in an unknown future. But here's the thing. That future, the one most thought was uncertain, was in fact inevitable to anyone who actually did the work. You know, looked at the data, did some thinking, and had vision beyond next quarter's financial results. The world has been asleep at the wheel while Tesla has been busy building the platform from which they will disrupt energy generation, storage, and consumption across the planet. It's too late to catch up with Tesla now. At best, it's just a race for second place. And in case you forgot, we're not talking about vehicles. We're talking about half of all sources of greenhouse gas emissions in the global economy. This matters. And don't forget your free stocks with Weeball and Stake. Links in description. I'm Stephen Mark Ryan. This is Solving the Money Problem, and I love you all. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Have you read the impact report? What does it mean for the future of Tesla, transportation, and energy? And of course, if you have any ideas for future videos, let me know. I read all your comments. P.S. If you're still watching, you're awesome. If you'd like to access exclusive videos, regular Q&As, behind-the-scenes content, and more, consider supporting the channel at patreon.com slash solvingthemoneyproblem so I can keep creating content for you guys. There's a link in the description. And you can now also become a member of the channel for some exclusive perks. To learn more, click the join button next to subscribe. Either way, the best form of support is you being here and watching. So thanks again.